All right. Um, we just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. Okay, so we got uh, a package in the mail. Okay, and um, you know, I can kind of say that this video is sponsored by our Patreons because you guys paid for this box, uh, which is awesome. Um, so if you know, if you know Two Beards Play, we love, we love some, some tabletop RPGs. Uh, excuse me, I'm in my pajamas from, uh, anyway, I would, <laughs> I haven't done much this morning, but, uh, I checked my, my phone and it said my package was in the, has been delivered. And so we're going to open it up. The tape is still sealed here. Um, I've not opened this up yet. So, uh, but if you follow us on Facebook, you know, maybe what this is. Um, and if you know Trey and I, you know that we're super excited. Yes, those are fingernail clippers. Don't judge me. Um, all right. I'm super excited. Oh, oh. Yep, yep, we got some bubble wrap. <laughs> My daughter's over here, it's like, bubble wrap? What? You want this? Sure. This is not very, I don't know, it can't like, oh, okay, it's poppable. Well, here you go, here's another sheet. Have fun with that. Oh, it's like, it's like Melception. Inception, like we have a, what is this? This is a UPS, no, United States Postal Service box with a UPS package inside. So, fun fact, I worked for the mill. Uh, I was a mailman for several years, um, and it's quite normal for UPS to drop packages, deliver packages at the post office for us to to send out. I don't know what kind of contract or an agreement they have there, um, but usually every morning there was a UPS truck showing up with packages for us to deliver if they were on our, our mail route. I need some scissors or an exact, I've got something, hold on. Oh, thank you. My daughter to the rescue. Anyway, okay, so before we jump into this, um, like I said, thank you patrons for uh, giving a little bit every month. It adds up. Um, and because of this, we get really cool things like this that we can um, show you guys. Um, and that just uh, that blows my mind. Um, let me see, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess up anything here. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, all right, I'm not cutting into anything. Oh, I can see the green. See that? Hold on. No, you can't. Oh, what does that look like? What does that look like? Beauty Guru, what is that? So, Trey discovered that apparently Sea of Thieves has a tabletop RPG version of their game. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hold it up with the big camera here. Get the ring light out the way. See if these role playing game. This is so exciting. I'm so excited. All right, so just kind of show off the different sides here. See if these role playing game, a narrative role playing game for two to six pirates. Okay, so if you're familiar with our channel, you know we've got our uh, our tabletop show, Table Scraps, um, that we do. We are about to film season five. Um, and uh, so we're gonna do, get all the edges there. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a show on this. We're gonna record some video. Um, I don't know when, because like I said, we're about to film season five. And it'll probably be after after that. 
So let's uh let's crack this bad boy open gently, gently, as to not scratch or dent the merchandise. Oh, there we go. All right, so I'm not going to talk about how to play this because I don't know how to play it. When when we ordered it off the website, it came with. Um, the PDF versions of the books, because this is actually on uh, back order. Um, so I ordered it maybe like a month ago, uh, and it said it wasn't going to ship till the 1st of August. It is close. It's just, as of right now, it's the 21st of um, July. So it came a little earlier than they, um, they said it would, which is fantastic. Um, but I haven't looked over the PDFs yet, so I, I can't explain to you what the different things do. But um, I'm sure we'll talk about that later. All right, let me turn it this way. Maybe I can fix this camera a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. So let's open her up. Oh. oh I feel like I should put this somewhere. Put it right over here. Oh, there's code. There's code. I don't know if you can see that. All right. So apparently, you get uh, Lord Guardian sales, sales of a would-be pirate king, um, for purchasing this. And there's a code on the back side that I'm not. I'm not going to show you. Uh, okay. So we've got these cards. It's a little bright. There we go. Um, and I'm not sure what these do. Oh, look, <laughs> oh, Trey hates these things. These are the, the merchant ferns that you could pick up on an island, uh, which completely blocks your view whenever you're trying to carry them around. <clears throat> so I guess these are items, treasures, which would make sense. These are kind of like different things you collect and sell in the game. Um, let's see, this is honorable. Ooh. Not sure what these do, but on the back we've got, oh, it's upside down. We've got, trying to get the reflection, there we go. I reach long, so weapons. I don't know if these are all weapons or items. So I'll put those right there. Oh, here we go. See a thieves roll playing game. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Um, got some dice. Dice. So we got, looks like little doubloons, pirate ships, bones. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that one is there. Um, excuse my nails. Uh, anyway, so love some good dice. I don't. I'm not sure what the mechanics are for these, um, but they had their own specific dice there. This is what. I'm excited about. <clears throat> like I wish I had a place to hang this. Yeah, you know, let's uh, let's put this over here. Um, I hate the map <laughs> in the game. I'm horrible at finding things on the map. But uh, oh, it's upside down. But it's the actual map. Back up a little bit. It's the map from the game. I'm pretty sure. So. That's cool. Wish I had a big wall to hang that on. Sorry. What's that, baby? Uh, over there? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think actually this is going to live with Uncle Trey. Because um, he, Trey, is actually going to be, I guess, whatever the equivalent of a DM is for this game. Uh, Trey's going to run it. Normally I run table scraps as the DM, but um, all right, we got some tokens, some shamanes, bananas, cannons. Hey, what is that? Maybe that's ammo right here. Little, little, the balls. Yeah, because you look on the back side here, we got the, the gun icon there. <clears throat> Cool. Ooh, some more money. More items. 
Dude, I'm so excited. Ooh, okay. Okay, what is this? What is this? Okay, so this must be like um, individual players' things. Let me see. Sorry about the reflection. Um, so we got name, personality, dice, in the hold, gold, supplies, weapons, notes, inventory. Cool. And this is very, very glossy. Very, uh, it feels like it's sealed, so that maybe you could use a... Uh, wet erase marker or something on there um anyway so we got one two three and four four of those five 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 of those so what did it say six players two to six yeah so that'd be uh five players in a dm oh and here's the book what is this a little ribbon ribbon there all right so this comes with three books we have the Book of Lore. Okay. The Book of Pirates. Oh, I love that artwork. And then the Book of Voyages. So, I'm just kind of a, a skim through here and get some artwork. Oh, yeah. No, that looks pretty. Super excited about that. Sorry, it's upside down. Yep, 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 yep. Anyway, yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right. So, super exciting. Um, okay, so that that's everything in the box. Let me. All right, let me try to put this back in here. Oh, look. This ribbon is actually attached. That's cool. Helps you get everything out. All right, let's see. What does the back say? Release the pirate within you. Ahoy, you scurvy dog. Are you seeking adventure, battles, and treasure? Do ye have the strength to best skeletons, rival pirates, and the sea herself? Are you ready to set sail, roll dice, and have a great time? This is Sea of Thieves role-playing game, based on the popular video game available for PC and Xbox. It has everything you need to create exciting pirate tales on the tabletop. The rules are designed for quick, immersive role-playing that favors action, problem-solving, and above all, fun. Three books await you. The Book of Pirates gets you into the action fast and teaches you the Avast system as you sail on your first pirate adventure. Instead of trying to memorize dozens of rules, you can start Finding Buried Treasure. All right, so the Book of Pirates is, I guess, the basic rule book. The Lore of the Sea is for Game Masters and includes advice, enemies, and the quest creation system for fast play. You will always find lore about the pirates, islands, and creatures that inhabit the Sea of Thieves. And the last one, the Book of Voyages, features the Ashen Jewel campaign that puts the fate of the entire Sea of Thieves in the player's hands, where they are ready for it or not. Cool. All right, so the Book of Pirates is like your lore, uh, your your basic rule book, and then the Lore of the Sea is kind of like the DM's guide. Um, it seems like it's got a way that you can use their system to create quick pirate quests, and then the Book of Voyages is actually like a, a campaign book, like a, an adventure module. That is the word I'm looking for. Um, so that's cool. Anyway, we're super excited. We're so excited. This is cool. Um, Anyway, so there you go. If you were thinking about it, looking at it, didn't know it existed, now you do. See if these role-playing game. Go pick it up. I think I got a mongoose gaming something. I'll put a link down below of uh, of where we got it. So you can go check it out yourself. Anyway, I'm Travis. I'm out. Thank you guys. Be blessed. And um, until next time. Bye.